The president also calling on every state to adopt a red flag law. Indiana's version already exists. It's called the Jake Laird Law, named after an Indianapolis police officer who was shot and killed by a man who struggled with mental illness. News 8's Demi Johnson talked to Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears, who says the legislation has helped save lives. Demi. Yeah, the law allows police to take guns away from a person they believe to be dangerous or mentally unstable. Prosecutor Ryan Mears tells me a national red flag law would be a step in the right direction. But like any legislation, he says there's a loophole that needs to be addressed, and he hopes the president's plan will help. Here are two situations where police used Indiana's Jake Laird law. This one in Carmel following a standoff at former Colts player Antonio Morrison's home. And one in Bartholomew County where deputies say they confiscated 20 firearms from one person. The number of lives that have been saved as a result of this law, uh, it's difficult to calculate, uh, but it's numerous. Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Muir says the president's push for a national red flag law is something leaders in every state should get behind. It's hard to rationalize why this is a bad thing. Uh, you know, we are taking the hand, guns out of the hands of people who have demonstrated that they have issues with mental instability. And it also gives law enforcement a way to pro actively address this challenge of what do I do with this person who maybe is not committing a crime at this particular moment in time, but poses a threat or is dangerous to either himself or his family. While it has proved successful in many ways, Mir says because of a gray area in the law, there have also been issues. He says once police take the weapons, there's nothing to stop the person from going out and buying more. We actually had a case where law enforcement did have uh, react, come out to the scene, take weapons away from someone. Uh, and then that individual ended up purchasing a firearm and killing their grandmother. That's why Mir says he's also on board for universal background checks. It's really, really easy to, to get a gun here in Marion County, uh, in particular if you are a young person. And so access to firearms is a real issue and a real challenge. How can we better regulate like, the sell and transfer of those firearms? Mir says the Jake Laird law has also helped prevent a number of suicides here in Marion County. A 2018 UND study found a 7.5% decrease in firearm suicides statewide in the 10 years following the enactment of the law. Live in the newsroom, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.